Hey everyone and welcome back to, to Life, Life Between, Between the, the Magic. Magic. Well, for the past week, we got to live our life in the magic. In the magic. And those vlogs will be coming out soon and very soon. So bear with us. But uh, we've got a lot of stuff coming out over the next few days. But this time, in this vlog, we wanted to do, Amanda wanted to do a... A trip haul. A trip haul. Yeah. Yeah, kind of show you some things that we found and brought back. Um, to our home here and just we're excited about them we bought some neat things yeah some little things that we were um one thing we were looking for last time we were there and they were out and then um lily and i got some a special thing this time so yeah so let's get started oh the very first thing we bought the mickey sipper the mickey sipper it's from his 90th birthday we looked for this in march but none of the places had them they had run out and so, um, as soon as we got to the park that first night, um, we went to Casey's Corner, and there he was. Yeah, we were excited to see him, and so we ate. That was the first thing we wanted to do, is eat at Casey's Corner. So we bought the Mickey Sipper, and uh, we didn't even put any drink inside of it. And um, if you have to watch our trip vlogs that are coming up about what happened to our first Mickey Sipper yeah, that we had. Yeah, this is number two. But, um, had some uh, had a neat experience with that though, yeah. Uh, but yeah, we really wanted the Mickey Sipper because we've started putting things like up around the house, and uh, he'll make a a good decor. We don't plan on using him as a drinking device. No, very cute little guy here. The Minnie Mouse popcorn bucket to go with our Mickey popcorn bucket that we picked up in March. This is not about the popcorn that you get with it. If you know, you buy one of these, I think this one was $18.99. We won't share a lot of prices because we can't remember a lot of them. But you can get popcorn in this and then you can refill it for $2 throughout the stay of your trip. But one of the reasons we don't refill this is number one is my hand, who eats the most popcorn, Lily and I, doesn't fit in this thing very well. And number two, once you get popcorn down in there, it's really hard to kind of clean, clean it out. It. So we really wanted it just as a collector to go along with our Mickey popcorn yeah. bucket that we got on the last trip. And so- On the strap here, her little shoes have bows on yeah. them. And little hands here on the side to like clip on. But I think we looked for, a, we, we saw this in Frontierland right next to Big Thunder Mountain and we right. looked at other places to find it. And we, we yeah, yeah, that was the only popcorn stand in Magic Kingdom that had it this trip for us. Yeah, so, as far uh, as we could tell. Right. So we thought surely around the castle they would have it, but they didn't even have it there. But we were really excited to get the Minnie Mouse popcorn bucket. Our next item is a resort refillable mug. Yeah, and if you can look at this one, this one is kind of the old throwback Mickey stuff. I don't know if it'll focus in on it, but you see Mickey Mouse Club ears down at the bottom. Uh, the very back has the Mickey Mouse Club right here. Um, I actually looked for this one on our last trip in March, and they did not have it. We, we don't do the dining plan anymore, but at every trip we at least get one resort refillable mugs, because these are $18.99. Um, but you can fill up drinks, and every night I would go to the uh, to Old Port Royal at Caribbean Beach and, and get us some drinks and things like that. Uh, it, it's nice to have at least one, I think. Oh, yeah. So, and if we, if sometimes we monorail hop on the monorail resorts, and you could take that inside any of those, um, like say if you're the contemporary hanging out at like, Contempo Cafe, and you could get a drink there. So they are handy to have um, if you are um, looking at going around a bunch of different resorts, but obviously just the resort that you're staying at too. Yeah, because these are resort refillable mugs. You can't take them in the park and get right. refills, but at the resorts, all the refills you want are free. So, well, included with the price. Included with the price. And us all these, and I gave in, which They're is- They're really cute. Usually our life of purchases. And it is a- silicone coast, yeah, coaster, coaster set. 
So you got a Mickey waffle here. You got, looks like a Mickey ice cream sandwich, ice cream sandwich a Mickey donut, and then a cookie. I guess that's a cookie, uh, a Mickey cookie. But yeah, so they're silicone coasters, and we will probably actually use these. These were actually the prices on the back, so I'll tell you, I'm kind of ashamed to admit, but these were $14.99, so. But we have our annual annual pass, 20% discount. So it did save us, it did save us 20%. So just like our um, coasters that were the snack theme, we also in that same shop on Frontierland um, found some straws. That are really blurry. That are really, yeah, well, they're clear, so that yeah. makes it harder. But you have a Mickey waffle, Dole Whip, ice cream sandwich, a cookie, a pretzel, um, popcorn. Mickey bar. Mickey bar. And a churro. Yeah, and a churro. Yeah. Um, and we use a lot of straws around our house and also if you um, know a lot about the parks these days they have all gone to paper straws um, which no bueno so um, we said you know we can bring these back and use them um, as we are in Walt Disney World and along and just at home yeah and, and the paper straws we understand it's a conservation oh, of yes. the environment but it's, they dissolve it's really for the birds Literally. Although it might be for saving the birds, it's really for the birds uh, because those straws get nastified. I used them on the first day and then stopped using straws, period, the rest of the week. Yeah. All right, so a good, good friend of mine and her family are big Disney fans as well. And she and I were talking um, back in the spring, or I don't even know when it was, and uh, talking about our upcoming trip. And she started talking about goofy candy sour cherries. And I said, I will bring you some. So we brought them a couple of bags for their family to share. And um, so yeah, I just thought that we would pick up and bring home a little magic for my friend there. And so yeah, the Goofy Candy Company Sour Cherry Balls. Lily, with some of her money from Disney gift cards from different gifts, got these little things that are called wishables. Lily, which one is this one? The Dole Whip one, and they're squishable. They're squishy and soft, and Lily yes. loves anything squishy, soft, and small. So she got this Dole Whip one, which is, I think, probably her favorite. What's another one, Mom? The oh. alien. Take me to your leader. <laughs> the claw. So that's kind of cute. All right, what's another one? Flounder. 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 <laughs> Look at there, isn't flounder kind of cute as well? I gotta cover my face up so we can focus. Yeah, and then what else? That ice cream cone one. Oh yeah, and this is actually Lily's favorite flavor of ice cream, which is mint chocolate, mint chocolate chip. chip. Yeah, it's pretty cool and it's got Mickey ears and a cherry. And then last but not least is the Minnie Mouse. Yeah. Minnie. And see, most of these were based on and based off of rides, attractions at Walt Disney World. And these were really, there were just a couple more. Lily pretty much got all of them that were that were there. Which one was the mystery one? The Dole Whip. Dole Whip, Dole Whip. was a mystery pack. And this is what she got out of those. The other ones she just kind of chose right off the shelf. But I think these were $9.99 and Lily um, used all of her gift card money to purchase these because Lily loves squishy. She loves squishy things. And so she used this to buy those wishables is what they're called. All right, we picked up Pluto here for our nephew whose birthday was um, the beginning of the month. And we, um, we were actually out of town on his birthday, and so we wanted to find him something that he would like. He loves puppies. He turned three, so we got him a Pluto plushie. We've always heard about Disney's character warehouse that is at the prom the premium outlets, premium outlets, Orlando premium outlets on Vineland mm -hmm. Avenue, and so we tracked it down and we found it, and um, you know. It's, it's one of those things you definitely have to make it there um, frequently, I think, to see everything that they might have to offer. This time, I mean, we found, I found a really good find. They, they bring in merchandise that probably has, you know, just run its course in the park. 
uh, different thing that they've overbought, right. different things they've overbought, and then just stuff that's you know mm -hmm. probably not selling very well. Right. So the first thing we found, we'll talk about in just a second. But yeah. as we're standing in line, I found oh, right. I found these, which are just come on, there we go, which are just postcards. And we, we thought these were cool because you know, we're we're travel agents now, Amanda, Amanda and I are, and we thought these would be cool to send to the people who book with us. And they were only 50 cents each, so I think I bought like 16 or 17. And yeah, we thought it was a pretty good find there. So we can use these kinds of things. Right. And then Amanda found uh, something that she can tell you about. Yes, I am huge. Uh, I love the Disney Spirit jerseys. And this trip, I, went, I hadn't gotten one. We were actually went to this store on the way to the airport leaving. So this trip, I hadn't gotten a Spirit jersey. And um, I found the Flower and Garden 2019 Flower and Garden yeah, you Spirit see jersey. That's on the pocket on the front. Yeah, and what was this, what was this drink? that they had the, that, the violet lemonade vi this is the violet lemonade um uh, one and then on the back of course all spirit jerseys have this kind of you know different montage on the back and it says put a little zest in your fest right and it's just a really pretty like you was this fuchsia no fuchsia um, probably yeah Ish. really pretty color and okay if you know anything about disney spirit jerseys they are not cheap uh, originally priced $64.99 and I got it for $14.99. So I was extremely excited when I saw this and they were limiting them to one per guest. Um, so I snatched mine up. I um, had seen this lounge fly bag on some Walt Disney World's Instagram um, you just keep talking. before our trip. And I knew before we went that I was going to look for this bag. It is super, super cute and has just the cute little characters on it. I, I picked the one that had the Minnie Mouse right on the front. Um, and then, yes, right there. And that's a little pocket right there. And then on the side, each side has a pocket. And my cell phone fits really nicely down in there. I found out last couple of days. Look who this is. Yes. Big A! there and there's the back Dumbo right there in the middle Peter Pan's flight ride ride vehicle so yeah these are really cool bags Mickey pretzel right there these are really cool bags and they're leather they're a leather bag and, and for someone who is you know smaller like a lady you can kind of use this as a as a purse and they've got some they had some Big sizes in, uh, big room inside, and let's see. Here we go. Yeah. We're trying to show you the pattern on the inside, yeah, so it has a, nice a has a stripe. cool stripe pattern. But this one, and and we found these, and Amanda found the one that she liked, which had, because all of these. Well, how did you describe this? The pattern. The patterns are all placed differently, so it's like they just take the fabric, you know, and just like the way they cut them. And so the one that I first saw was actually in the Port Royal at. Um, Caribbean Beach Resort. Um, but the front of it just, you know, the mini was kind of cut off. There was not really true characters like on the front. And so um, I was patient and we actually found this at Mouse Gear in Epcot. They had several of them and I was able to kind of look through and see which one I liked the best. As look far at as that grim grinning ghost. Yeah, that one's one of the best too. And the small world thing. Is right yeah. there the so it is a cool bag. And if I remember correctly, this bag was. Um, we bought it. It was 63 for us. The original price is 75, but the annual discount got us it was 63. Yeah, and these are these Disney Parks lounge fly bags, and they have them in all shapes and sizes, even bigger bags too. Right, uh, and more traditional backpacks with like the traditional backpack um, material. Yeah. I got a purse. I got a purple potion bag. She and sure did. And it's really, really cute. Um, I found it, I found it in, in our hotel. Yeah. Uh, yeah, she found the gift space. shop. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Gift shop. And I really wanted it and daddy surprised with, with me that morning. <laughs> well, not exactly that morning. Yeah. I, uh, look, and this one you can see has Mickey ears here. And this is again a lounge fly bag and it's the same basic setup as Amanda's. 
Uh, but it's the Purple Potion, which is the kind of in thing right now. Um, they all it's something new. So this is one of the new things. And Lily saw it and she was thinking about, she was trying to figure out if she had enough money to buy it herself. And I told her, I said, well, maybe you can buy it and we can do the rest. But <sighs> softy. Had a little soft spot in my heart and they had one. And so I bought it for her. We bought it for her and surprised her the next morning. She was really excited to get it. I must say, I wish I, I, it was a surprise to me too. I didn't know he had done it. And I wish I did because her facial expression when she saw it that next day was the sweetest and she was so thankful and i wish i had was able to catch it, catch it on camera or a picture but but where were you really excited to take it to last night to the parks to the parks and last night though where did and, you in church she was really she had it planned out and packed up for church she said her bible fit perfectly in there yeah. and she was ready to take it so anyway another lounge fly bag this one was Quite a bit more expensive than Amanda's because it's the end stuff right now. And it was actually $90 before the annual pass discount. And uh, it was 70 something after that. Our final thing is as we were leaving the park on Tuesday after we had done early morning magic and we were walking through the Emporium and um, I had seen this bracelet um, before earlier in the trip and it's an Alex and Ani but it's the pass holder, it's too shiny, is it gonna, there it goes. The pass holder um, logo, if you will, I guess, um, and the blue and the Mickey there. So um, I've already worn this a couple of times since we've been home. I just put it back in the packaging for the video. Um, so yeah, I was really excited to get that as well because I had this is I got two Alex Nani bracelets for Christmas, one from each, Nick and Lily, and now I have this one, so. Anyway, so she, she really liked these, and I think this was in the 50, it's, yeah, 49, 49.95, and uh, of course we, we got 20% off with the annual pass discount. But they are really cool, cool bracelets, if bracelets are your thing. Wow, there's a lot of stuff, and maybe yeah. we talked a little bit too long about each item, but uh, be looking for our um, trip vlogs that will be coming out. Uh, hopefully soon I'll try to get those rolling uh, but also continue to follow us on social media on Instagram and Twitter and also on Facebook at Life Between the Magic and subscribe to our channel we've got a lot of content that will be coming out with us in the uh, parks continue to follow along as we live our Life, Life Between, Between the, the Magic. Magic hey everyone and welcome back Stop, I was yawning. Oh.